All right, to make this process a lot easier on us, we've got base molding and then we got shoe molding. I'm taking them down here to my workshop and I'm going to glue and brad nail the base and the shoe molding pieces together. And then I'll take it up to the house and we'll cut it to length and do our miters and everything like that. Um, our brad nailer is, well, not my brad nailer. My air compressor is permanently mounted in my workshop so I can't haul it up to the house. Plus, it's kind of nice having the work area down here and Angela's making soap right now anyway, so two birds and one stone. Try and turn this around. Almost dropped it. All right, for those of you who don't know, welcome to my workshop. I've got a separate YouTube channel called Samcraft. about to knock my lights down just close your eyes it'll all be over soon ah there okay all right so did work in my workshop um, there's a separate YouTube channel link below as always it's always in all our videos if you're interested in seeing me make stuff and do stuff here in the workshop um, I'm going to work mostly here on my workbench, so let me go ahead and get my brad nailer, wood glue, get this stuff cleaned off a little bit, and start putting the molding together. One of our viewers, Wendy, got me this. It is a pretty much like a smock. I like it because it's a shirt I can put on that I can get dirty, and it stays in the workshop. It's got some pockets here full of wood shavings and stuff, of course, but... It keeps my better clothes clean. Love it. Thank you so much, Wendy. Ta-da! Worked out great. Now, a few things to note here. This molding is solid wood. We didn't get the MDF particle board, the press board stuff. We got solid wood, which wasn't that much more expensive, if at all and it holds the nails and will last a lot better so this is solid wood molding and this saves a lot of labor in the house another thing that i did when i nailed is i kind of alternated and angled these nails and that should keep this shoe molding from ever pulling off very easily i also put a lot of nails in this because i'm not sure exactly where my cuts are going to be and i'll make sure if i cut shorter pieces i still have enough nails to hold everything securely together one down, four more to go. That was pretty easy. No doubt a lot easier than trying to cut all these pieces twice, put up the baseboard, nail it, put up the shoe molding, nail it, and hopefully not split it. Well, I guess workshop time's over. Time to head up to the house. Hey, let's do one more sneak peek for you guys. So if you notice, there's trash bags here. They don't usually stay here. There's postal boxes here. That doesn't usually stay here. You guys caught me right in the middle of a big shop organization and cleanup session that I'm trying to get done as fast as I can so I can do a new 2020 workshop tour on my workshop channel. Um, what I've primarily been working on is, let me turn the light on, hang on. What I've been primarily working on is this room in here. This was completely storage and could not even get into this area before I started this project. I've done some cleanup, I added some makeshift lighting up there, I've been putting some scrap wood on the wall as paneling, and my goal with this area is to make it a mechanic room, like a place for me to put all of my auto repair tools and car parts and stuff that really doesn't belong in a woodworking shop will go in this room because in the future, maybe this year, I hope so, I'm going to add a large carport roof off the side of my workshop here 
and give myself a dedicated work on the car, fix the dump truck, all that kind of stuff, space. All right, I think I've rambled enough. Let's grab the molding and let's run up to the house. There's no easy way about this other than just getting the floor. Ah. While I'm painting, Angela is making soap. Whoa, a little loud there. Okay, do it again then. All right, while I'm painting, I'm not doing it again. Angela is making soap. Making soap. What kind of soap are you making? Orange spice. Is it orange? It will be a little bit. Is it spicy? Just a little. All right, orange spice. Uh, what's this over here? There's another loaf. Facial bars. Tea tree facial bars? Yeah, that's what the person ordered it for. It's a custom order. Nice. Does it work for other areas other than face? Well, yeah. Alright. Tea tree multi purpose bars. <laughs> multi purpose. Multi purpose. Multi pass. Alright, the first coats are done on the ends of the cabinets and then the panel over here on the table that's going to go in the corner next to the stove. While I'm waiting for the paint to dry, I'm going to try and do something that I'm not looking forward to. And that is paint that molding way up there above the fridge in that cubby. I think I'm going to have to climb on top of the fridge some. So, this will be fun. Well, that was short-lived. But while I was up there trying to reach the molding, I found one of the boys' like long grabber things with a hand. And I made myself an extension. You know you love it. You absolutely love it. So yeah, painting with the hand extension or whatever this is. This is awesome. I can almost, look at that. Would you look at that? Look at that. Now, there's no paint on right now, but yeah. <laughs> Just reminding you why you married me. You know that, right? Yeah. Feats of amazement and engineering madness and humor. Oh yeah, that's borderline genius right there. You know it's right. If you'd like to order one of these for only three payments of $19.99.95.95, call now, the painter's hand. Bye. All right, so I know it's probably driving a lot of you crazy. There's a little bit of the wall right there that has still not been painted. That's because it's gonna be painted yellow and Angela wants to wait until we do the dining room, which is all a bunch of the painting in this area to do the fridge cubby so that's why it's being left for now we'll get to it when we do the dining room promise the caulking we're using to do the trim and everything is an alex caulk it's really good because it's fast drying easy to apply and it's paintable so it is perfect for making these joints and the molding and trim disappear Let's see.
I really think that's fine. You can't see that, can you, until you get really, really far back? Oh, let's see. Even from here, I just see a sliver. Just barely? Yeah. Okay, in your living room. All right. So we're going to do away with the toe kick part, um, mainly because adding the thickness of the toe kick to the face of the cabinet here would end up pushing this miter out, and then we'd have a gap on the sides of the cabinets. So Angela just checked, and she couldn't really see any of this cabinet sticking out from above the molding until she got way back there, and that's good enough for us. So now I'm just making sure my miter lines up on the outside edge of the cabinet and I'm nailing it in place. Ow. Ow. Need a bigger hammer? No, I need smaller thumbs. Will it crack? the scene all creative like <laughs> tight and perfect fit back in here. Exactly the height. I think I'm almost most excited about that. Yeah. Yeah, really. Well, it looks pretty fancy. Eh, cock will fix it. Alright, I need a stool. I'm too short. Alright. I don't know how those got off so far. It's like the moldings are different thicknesses. But this is the old molding. And this is the new molding. So maybe it's variances. Variances from the manufacturer, I guess. Oh well. What you doing? Seeing every bit of the inside of our nasty Ooh. building. That's a preview of things to come. Um, so our door is not the greatest. We didn't do this. This was like this when we got the house. I'm going to try and fix it for now. Jeez. I'm afraid somebody might be in the bedroom. Alright, so this is going to really bug a lot of you guys, but this is temporary. I'm going to use this scrap piece of plywood as filler to give us a better spot to remount our door latch. We will fix this when we do our bedroom. So this is not permanent. This is temporary. All right, so that's good enough for now. This is me using a pocket knife as a chisel to make a new hole for our door latch.
It's working. Of course it's working. Let's see. Nice. Oh, I didn't see your face. Never doubted it. Not no doubt, not no one doubt in my mind. What do you guys think? Ridiculous? Crazy? Let me know in the comments. If any of you have wondered what in the world that is, it's a screw. That's also our makeshift doorstop, because this door has no molding around it to stop it from swinging in and out of the kitchen. Again, we didn't do it, we just bought it that way. It's time to upgrade. <laughs> Alright, this is... Not enough to do the whole thing, so I guess we'll do left side, right? <laughs> left side, right? Yeah. I think it would be best put right here. Okay, over the top. Yeah, and we can leave the top as it. Well, I mean, look, it's you know fingers and then no fingers, so it's a little crooked up there. So we'll do just the left side of the door, and that really is gonna stop. It'll stop it. Okay. It'll either stop it or it won't stop the kids. Depends on what. Trying to come through where with who and what. Right. Four. Up just a hair. And I'll put my pencil line where to line it up. No easy way. Cases are horrible windows. Yep. There's asking to be made French doors. So we already went through with a nail set and recessed the nail heads just a little bit. And I'm going through with some Alex caulk and just caulking it over and it'll cover it up and make it a little bit smoother. <laughs> well guys, hope you enjoyed it. As we went around and did our floor molding and the molding around our bedroom door. It looks amazing. It's crazy the amount of difference that just some molding makes. Crazy with a K and a Z. Crazy. It already has a Z, doesn't it, originally? Well, it's, <laughs> it does. <laughs> it's still it's got that It's not a crazy. It's a capital Z. <laughs> we appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you next time on The Homestead. See you guys. Oh, that is cool. You see, then you can lock it, and so it keeps it. Very cool. So we're here playing with something we got from one of our viewers, Wendy. 
And we didn't know what this was until Angel just figured it out. It's a pot lifter. Very cool. Yes. So Wendy got us that, some rings. And then this looks like a steam diverter for the top of the Instant Pot. Thank you so much, Wendy. That'll save our cabinets. <laughs> yes. Yeah, every time we go to vent the Instant Pot, we try and pull it out of the way, but then the cord's pretty short, and this will really help a lot. Thank you. Oh, now you're stalling. I am. What? <laughs> <laughs> so what were the questions? So while we're talking about Instant Pot, a couple of you asked in the comments, what's the update? We They have not heard anything else. We haven't told you guys anything else about the Instant Pot since we bought it. So, here's our thoughts. It's pretty awesome. It is. We've cooked quite a few meals in it. I would say probably 85% of our meals are now cooked in the Instant Pot. Um, we actually did our, fam his family's Christmas dinner was cooked in it. We did a nice ham. Yep, it was very good cooked ham recipe. Um, I don't know, it's, I don't know what's in it, but it's really awesome. And it's not one of those like weird I don't know. I don't. I'm picky with it. Whatever. I'm gonna cut this out. I guess. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just ramble and mumble. It was a really good ham. It was very good. We cooked it twice, didn't we? Once mm -hmm. for us to see if we liked it. We and loved then again it again for his family. Yeah. And they loved it too. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's the weirdest thing we have cooked so far? Probably the ham. Probably the ham. We I know we did a honey mustard that had. Honey mustard chicken that had something with it that it wasn't that oh, yeah. great. No, that wasn't good. No. But the rice is awesome. This thing yes. will cook rice to perfection. That's actually what we're getting ready to do tonight is some rice and, what is that, sliced beef? Yeah. And broccoli, stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, I've, there are millions of recipes. On, well, probably not millions. Okay, there's a lot of recipes for the Instant Pot. We've just not even gotten started I'm I sure. think my favorite thing in it so far has been beef stew mmm that's right I'm not a huge fan of beef stew but that did turn out really good well, I've tried two separate recipes on it because the first one wasn't that great it was a little watery oh yeah that one was that was pretty bad <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah and the beef was really hard yeah like tough yeah but um we have another beef stew coming up soon because I'm going to redo that recipe. Are you? The good recipe. Okay. Cool. So otherwise, we like a little more easy bland food. We don't really cook with tomatoes or tomato sauce any much. Okay. She likes bland food. I like flavorful food, but I've learned that I can't have a lot of foods. Tomatoes destroy me. <laughs> <laughs> can't have tomatoes or milk or dairy. So... Whatever. I'm good with carbs, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it looks like our stuff's getting ready to be done cooking, and i got to fire up the Instant Pot. So I want to let you guys know, and thank you again, Wendy, for this awesome stuff. We really do appreciate it. Thank you so much.